another beautiful girl, a dental student, on her way to college. She was abducted, raped and killed in Pakistan because they are Hindu women. The question is, why is it important as a British person to support the CA? Do British people respect the right to life, to human life? Do they respect that people should be able to practice their religious beliefs? That they deserve the dignity, the opportunities and access to education, health care, to be able to vote? The people benefiting from CAA 2019 have, have experienced the worst atrocities in their lives living under Islamic State in Pakistan, Bangladesh and Afghanistan. They have lived their lives being threatened of having their daughters abducted and then raped and then either killed or converted, of their brothers being beheaded, of their places of worship, their homes and their businesses being looted and burnt down. And it's for these reasons that their minorities have had to escape. And so they escaped to the only country that they could, the only country in the region that they could, which is India a country welcome to people of all faiths. Now these people, yes, they were free to live in India, but as illegal immigrants, meaning that they could not access health care, they could not access education, employment, they couldn't even access cooking gas to cook food. They had to live in that state, some of these people, for seven decades. And all this because they come from a minor they have a minority faith and they're coming from Islamic State. And in the case of Hinduism, the religion that I love, all because they believe that all of life, all of nature deserves to be loved, deserves to be respected, be it um, a homosexual person, be it a person of another faith, be it a tree, be it an animal, Hindus love all of life. Also because they love the Divine Feminine through Ma Durga as well as the Divine Male through Lord Krishna. And also because they, they choose and they prefer non-violence over violence. So any British person who thinks that these peaceful, these fundamentally liberal, these, these spiritual people don't deserve to live and don't deserve basic human rights and at the same time these British people who support an ideology that um, animals should suffer the most slow agonizing deaths, that women are inferior to men and that, um, that, that people who support this ideology that people who are of different faith, who are homosexual, who are trans, they deserve to die, then that is a very, very misguided British person indeed. Ah, hello, ji. Uh, like, you know, I just wanted to ask you, like, you are uh, supporting CAA rally, so what is the motivation for you? Yes. Oh, my God. So I'm in, I'm in USA, Boston, so I just came to support CAA here because people are not aware, like, what is going on with CAA. So we just want to make sure that this is not anything voting for any other community. So it's just bringing out the Hindus, Parsi, Sikhs, Isais from the Pakistan, Afghanistan and uh, Bangladesh. So they are like uh, having a lot of issues in the countries where they are treating as minorities. And from 2014, December 31st onwards, whoever came to India, so CAA Act is just giving the citizenship to them so that they can get all the privileges of India and they can be here. And coming to the deporting part, so there is no deporting from any of the community from the India as part of like uh, uh, Im Lilligation Act 1946 So and the Passport Act 19, uh, 1920. So there is no other uh, act which is going to take against the CAA. So everyone is allowed to stay here and all the Indian citizens have no impact for them. And uh, I support CAA and I support Modi ji. Jai Bharat, Jai India.